Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria and usually on this channel I do things like makeup, skincare, beauty, subscription unboxings, but recently I've been starting a journey as a part-time reseller selling things like clothing, shoes, and some other random stuff on places like Poshmark and eBay. So today I have a huge haul. I have like two huge black garbage bags from a local thrift store that I'm going to dig through today. This might end up being a part one and a part two video. I'm not actually sure. You obviously already know from the thumbnail whether we're going to do this in one video or two, but I'm going to keep an eye on the clock to not make it like a million hours for you guys. But I have a lot of really, really good things we're going to talk through today. If you just like seeing fashion, what's in thrift stores, what I like to grab for myself because I have a few things that might be for myself, then that's awesome. Stick around. Or if you're a reseller yourself and are just looking for some ideas of what to pick up, what's selling for me, or maybe you're listing and just want to have some stuff in the background. I do that all the time. I'm so happy you are here with me. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss any of my upcoming videos and cue the intro. I know I look absolutely Okay, first to let you know, this was just like a local, I think privately owned thrift store. It wasn't a Goodwill, it wasn't any of like the national chains, um, but it was in my area and I've only shopped there a few times, but I absolutely love going there. They have color tags and they actually discount day their color tags. My Goodwills in the area don't offer discount days. They don't ever discount their colors, which is so frustrating. So the day I went, I think they were running like a special and they, I think, have like four or five color tags that they shift through, and three or four of them were on sale. There was only one color that was not on sale in the entire store, and that was pink. Um, so as I'm going through, I'm going to tell you how much I decided to grab each of these items for, um, what they were worth to me as far as still wanting to flip them for a profit. Um, however, when I'm calculating my expenses, I'm just going to average my cost of goods. It's much easier for bookkeeping, plus it includes taxes. Um, so I already did the math, and with everything that I purchased, my average cost of goods is $2.94. So some things might have been cheaper, some things were higher, but it's just easier for me to know in my head when I'm selling them and sending offers that $2 dollars and 94 cents is my average also shout out to my fantastic beautiful baby sister she was here visiting me she lives out west and i live on the east coast and she came along to this thrift trip with me it was so much fun getting to shop with her and i just if you happen to be watching this i love you i miss you okay let's dig in the first thing we're going to do is do shoes i put the shoes in their own bag um but they <laughs> The one gripe I have with this store is they like charcoal right on their shoes and it's so hard to read the prices sometimes. But anyway, okay, first right here on the top, we have a pair of Steve Madden flats. I haven't cleaned these up yet, so I think this will clean up a little bit, the white right there on the side. I can usually get that nice and shiny, but the actual um, flat here is like a perforated leather really pretty like a laser printing these are in my size so hopefully they will get listed we will see because they're super cute also i should have mentioned i will have my poshmark and ebay stores linked down below if there is anything either that you're interested in grabbing for yourself or maybe you want to see what i end up listing them for you know to kind of check out my prices um, maybe get some ideas for yourself. You can check those over there. I might have this stuff listed before this video goes live, but if you are looking in my closets and you saw something in the hall that's not listed, please just write me a comment or message me over on Instagram. It's at Marina Beauty, and I will make sure that I get it listed for you guys and give you a good deal, of course. So these, you can see, this is kind of what it looks like. <laughs> the, um... It's a bit, they're right with different colors, but it doesn't always like if pink color is on sale, it doesn't mean that this is on sale because they wrote it in pink. They will write like a, a letter next to it. This says B, which means blue. So this was on sale. These were $4.94 plus the 50% off sale. We have another pair of Steve Madden. These are sandals. These are also leather strap uppers right here. These are in a size nine really cute for spring i should have also said when i did this haul i was shopping with like spring and summer in mind but now we're like midsummer, and i still don't have these things listed so i need to hurry up and get them listed but really cute classic pair steve madden is one of my best shoe sellers it doesn't sell for like tons and tons but it is a consistent seller for me these are a pair of born sandals 
Um, I like to pick up Born and BOC and other kind of comfort sandals. These are a genuine leather as well. These are in a size seven. And these actually, when I, when I was looking up comps for them, this specific style, for some reason, seems to have a really, really good sell-through rate, um, which means there's a lot more sold than there are listed. So I am hoping to maybe get between like 35 and 50 on these, where before I wasn't actually even thinking I would get that much. So these were also for 94, and that is a P you can't really see. So these were pink. Um, so the, that was the color that was not on sale. So I actually paid the whole $5 for these. I thought that would be worth it. Another pair of sandals. These are Keen, which are really good resellers, um, at least for me and in my opinion. This top is a genuine leather. So these would be really nice um, for even for like hiking some, you know, as long as you're not doing some strenuous hiking, um, but walking, any kind of everyday shoes really cool. These were $4.94 and they were blue, so they were 50% off as well. Next we have, these were really exciting. Um, I wasn't familiar with this. This is, it says Carolina built for work, um, but I would certainly call this a bolo because these I could feel right away. These are steel toe work shoes, which are really expensive if you buy the normal retail price. So these retailed I think for over $100 and I looked them up and although I thought they were men's just from the style um, I was able to pull up the specific style the style number is in here and these are actually women's size 11 W so I was very excited about these and these were $9.99 but they were 50% off color so I snagged these for $5 I'm hoping these sell on Poshmark because they are heavy and the shipping will be easier all right, next I found a couple cute pairs of like clogs, mules, um, people call them different things. I would call them um, both in my listing. I would put both in. These are just Land's End, actually. I don't pick up a lot of Land's End, but I do when it's like newer or newer tags or in a good style. And these are a genuine suede leather upper, really cute style here. And they were $6.96, so $7 white, so they were 50% off as well. The other cute pair of um, similarly styled ones that I found are these, and these are J. Jill, and that is the new um, kind of tag printing. Um, and these are genuine leather, really cute lace up with a stacked wood heel right here really really fabulous condition there's really nothing wrong with these um, the wear looks really nice on the bottom the treads these are in a size 9.5 and these were 9.99 blue so these were five dollars as well the last pair of shoes were just something i thought was super cute and again these are my size so i i haven't decided if i'm going to keep them or list them I might just kind of wear them a couple times and then list them I tend to do that so I can have like a continual cycle through my closet of new shoes and bags and clothes and then I'll keep them in really nice condition wash them spruce them up and then I'll go ahead and sell them but these are like a hidden wedge sneaker is how you would list those with some metallic setting down on the toes and these are American Eagle so not a super super high-end brand but they make really trendy stuff American Eagle is a consistent seller for me so if I can get them cheap enough I will absolutely pick it up these are a women's size 7 these like you, you can see how hard that is to see the size but these were 696 yellow so they were 50% off yellow was another code tag discount for the day. I always think it's fun when you walk in the store, they have balloons up at the cash register and they're different colors and that's how you know what the discounts are, which I don't know, I just think that's a fun way of doing it rather than like having a sign, but it's a, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so that is all my shoes. So when I got home from this trip, I organized things into two big of the garbage bags. And I did one that's like the list right away pile. Of course, it's like two months later and I haven't listed them yet, but shh, we're gonna fix that. And then the other one was items that I love. They're great, but I don't have to list right away because they'd be good for any season or they're more, you know, kind of fall and winter items. So I'm gonna start with the summer bag. We're gonna go through those items. And then later on in the video or in part two, we will go through the second bag. 
All right, the first thing I grabbed out, these are in no order. They're just jumbled up in there. I was so excited to find because I've only been reselling since like January, the very end of December. So there's a lot of things I haven't found yet. I am learning, I am growing, I make mistakes and hopefully learn from them. But this was the first time I found this one in the wild. This is a Lily Pulitzer, really, really cute, strapless dress. It's got this like kind of pink candy stripe with smocking down the side, which is super flattering. Um, it's got this tiered ruffle kind of bottom. And it is a sear sucker material. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's kind of when it's like a textured cotton that's called sear sucker. So you'll want to make sure you include that in your listing. A lot of people like that. But this was $5, $4.98, and it was 50% off. So I snagged this for $2.50. Most of the Lily Pulitzer dresses I see listed um, list over $100 and sell kind of around that range. So we will see how that one does. The other one that is kind of in this same cute style won't sell for as much, but I could not leave it behind. This was too cute. It's another um, strapless kind of, um, it has some boning in it down the back to make it fitted as well as smocking along the back as well. This is American Eagle in a size medium, if you can see that under their tag. I should have told you the Lily dress was a size small. So both of these probably fit me. We'll see if I have an occasion to wear either of them before I list them. Um, but I love this. It's so like nautically, um, kind of like a sailor dress with the ruffle and the big wide stripes. This was $5. This one probably won't sell for all that much. I'll probably list it probably between like 30, 35, maybe 38 and see how it does. All right, just kind of a bread and butter basic right here. I love finding things that are new with tags. These are LL Bean new with tags and they're a really great size. These are 18T. They retailed for $60 and they're just a pair of traditional LL Bean women's kind of hiking cargo utility pants. These I think would be really good right now while people are getting out into the outdoors. They'd be great for work, great for hiking, great for running errands. These were $9.98 white tags, so they were $5. All right, one brand I love finding and selling is Torrid. You can find that tag right there. I like Torrid. It is a plus size brand. This is in a size zero. Torrid does vanity sizing. So this is actually a women's size large. Um, and it has this really pretty, if you can see, ruffling as well as the Swiss dot kind of textured polka dot nice chiffon blouse I tend to list stuff like this around like $28 unless it's like a super cute or super you know good style and then maybe a little bit more but I like $28 because then when I send out a 10% offer it's $25 and for some reason I just think that's a nice round number I, I don't know maybe I'm just weird I was trying to find some men's stuff because I didn't have a lot of men's stuff to list so I grabbed a few things this one is hard it hurts my soul to buy but it is what it is this is a University of Alabama men's golf kind of polo obviously it doesn't have to be golf but I'll list it with that as a keyword this is so hard for me because I am an Ohio State Buckeyes fan and Alabama, obviously, we don't like each other. We don't. However, I have mad respect for them. They have a fantastic program, and Nick Saban is one of the all-time best coaches ever. So, okay, that's that's me, but go Buckeyes, of course, OH. Um, so these I tend to list for like $25. They sell really well in, in the summer when people are out golfing. This one is a pair of Can Can little jean shorts. I didn't really know about Can Can right at first, but they do retail and resell pretty pretty high from what I'm told. I have like a jean skirt listed. It hasn't sold yet, but we will see. These are in a size 28 and are just a, you know, cut off jean shorts with a light wash, some manufactured whiskering. Very cute. These I actually found while I was um, waiting in line and I was like still pulling stuff off the rack. Does anybody else shop while they're in line if it's set up like that? Um, I have a lot of fun doing that. This was $6.98 and it was a blue tag. So that was 50% off. 
I think I forgot to tell you, this um, Alabama polo was an extra large and it was $4, which only ended up being $2 on the discount sale. All right, again, remember I was looking for summer things, so I found um, a, quite a few like Hawaiian floral type items. This is a Columbia shirt, and again, I don't pick up tons of Columbia, um, but I was looking for summer. I like the Hawaiian. It's a really, really soft fabric, um, and it's a 2X, which is a great size for $4 plus the 50% off, so it ended up being $2. I just liked it. Okay, the next one, if anyone is a regular watcher of my channel, you might have seen me wearing a video or maybe it hasn't posted yet, I'm not sure, but I wore this for a video. Um, it's really cute. This is a CNC California top, which I don't pick up all the time at all, but it is 100% linen and it's a really cute like off the shoulder smocking with kind of a wide, maybe a bell sleeve, but at least a wide sleeve really cute i liked that linen has been selling so well for me recently especially things are when i say <laughs> i'm looking down my cat is like playing around with the lights from the window at my feet but i don't want her to like eat the clothes she tends to do that so i'm trying to like keep an eye on her so sorry if i keep looking down um this was only 250 um after the discount let's see if she'll let me have her say hi say hi Hi, this is Oreo. She likes to eat strings and stuff, so I have to make sure that my clothing items <laughs> are kept away from her. Anyway, um, okay, the next item is another really, really great summer item. This was actually $4, it was a pink tag, so it wasn't on the discount sale, but I decided to grab it anyway. The tag is all marked up, but this is a Chico's piece, and it's a really, really pretty, like floral, boxy cover-up. It looks like a really, really wide piece of fabric. Um, so it's hard to display. But this is how it would hang on your body. And it has this really pretty kind of mesh paneling down the side. And it does have sleeve holes. Um, so your arm would come out and then it would kind of hang. I am doing the worst job possible um, showing this. Unfortunately, the size tag was cut out of this, but since it's just kind of like a poncho cover-up, I wasn't worried about that. I'm probably gonna list it as fitting like small through large and I'll list measurements, but it's it's really forgiving since it's just kind of a boxy cover-up. Okay, next one, this is another one that's gonna be kind of hard to hold up. Maybe I can just kind of demo it. But this is like a handkerchief top, handkerchief top. So it has a halter that goes around and then this goes around your um, bust line. So it is kind of strapless, but with that halter, really pretty pink and blue kind of patterned handkerchief dress. And this was, let me find it here, new with tags, ASOS, which is why I picked it up. ASOS is like a fast fashion brand, so I don't get it all the time, but when it's new with tags, I certainly want to try it out. Um, this is a size US 12. It was yellow, $7, so it was $3.50. Next is another absolutely fast fashion brand that I skip on all the time, but it was a super cute style. It was also new with tags. This is Fashion Nova. This only retails for $23. But I don't know, I was just throwing stuff in my car. It was a good day, it was bringing down my average cost of goods. But this is a top, and it's like a crop right here, fly away with like a long back. The model pictures of this are super cute. Um, this is one that I probably would have worn, but I'm not going to, because it's new with tags. I'm not gonna take those off, obviously. But it would ended up being 350 with the discount. So we will try out Fashion Nova new tags. I, I don't know. All right, next, this was one of my um, more exciting finds just because I haven't found this before. This is Sanctuary, which retails for really high. This retailed probably for over $100. That doesn't always translate over to the... <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but my cat is in the kitchen. Like, she has a can of wet food, like, licking it and moving it around the tile flooring. So if you can hear that... I'm very sorry. I'll give her a minute to finish up and then try to help move her along because it's empty. But anyway, okay. Um, it doesn't always hold its value for all that long um, on the resale market, unfortunately. But I'll still hopefully probably get between maybe 30 and 40 for it. It's really cute. It has this like tucked 
pleating right here, if you can see that on the sleeve, and it has a tunic top, and then again, some more of that tucked pleating down at the bottom with this really pretty print. So we'll see how that does. This was a fun find, Volcom, which is kind of like a skater board surf brand. And I usually see more in men's pieces, but this is a really pretty women's kind of summer dress. $4, so it ended up being only $2 extra small. Another one that I absolutely love and would fit me, but I'm trying to do my best not to keep everything. This would be really cute in summer um, when we're in like bridal season, if you need like a bridal shower dress or something for your um, rehearsal dinner, something like that. It's just super cute. It's also beachy boho, so you could take this on vacation. Really, really a lot of options for that. This was one piece that I was really excited to find, especially at the price. This is Athleta, which I love selling. I had two leggings from Athleta sell, I think last week. Um, $5, so $2.50 with the discount. And it's a really pretty swim cover up. Um, I love this like geometric print, kind of like kaleidoscope feel. And I believe the material, yeah, this is 68% cotton and 32% silk. So super light super pretty I absolutely love it it's in a size extra small if this doesn't sell by the time that I go on my tropical vacation like in the winter I'm probably gonna delist it and take it with me but hopefully it'll sell before then all right a few just really quick kind of bread and butter closet staples this is Eddie Bauer extra large main reason I bought this is because it was three dollars plus the 50% off discount so dollar fifty just a nice plaid button up. Eddie Bauer doesn't sell for a lot, but it does sell pretty consistently for me. Um, and right now when people are hiking, getting outdoors, this would also be cute in the fall if it doesn't sell right now in summer. So high hopes for that. Another kind of just closet staple, LL Bean. This is a medium regular kind of a golf, tennis, activewear, performance polo. I really liked the color and golf stuff has been selling really well, so I was trying to pick up more of it. This was $5, so $2.50 with this sale. And then the last of those kind of just bread and butters right here is an REI Extra Large for $5 plus the sale, so $2.50. And this is a nice performance button down short sleeve shirt. It is vented in the back, so it would be great for hiking. It would be fishing. I'm definitely putting fishing in the title. Anytime you have this like mesh vented, definitely want to list it as fishing. Um, and just really nice. It's got hidden pockets. It's got a zipper down the side. Really, really good quality. Next, we have another pair of jean shorts that I shopped while I was waiting in line. Um, these are Joe's jeans, which is another one that they retail for really high. These retailed for over $100 when I looked them up. They're not going to sell that high. I'm probably going to list them around like $32. Um, but we'll see how they do. Five dollars, so they ended up being two fifty. Just a medium wash cut off with manufactured distressing along the bottom, um, with the raw hem. These are in a size women's twenty eight. Next is so pretty. Again, I was looking for linen. I'm not familiar with this brand. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the tag. This, I think it says clean but it's 100% linen and I love the texture of it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or if that picks up on camera, but it looks really, obviously it's an all natural fabric and you can see that in it. It feels so soft. It is in excellent condition. I don't know if this was ever worn. I'm obviously not listing it as new, but it very well could be new without tags. I got this for $2, 398 plus a 50% off tag. Um, really, really pretty tan color, and it is in a size small. Next is H by Alston in a size small. Halston is a really high-end brand. H is one of their diffusion lines, but again, probably list it in that like 28-ish range. It has this like space dye chiffon overlay, and then um, it's got a white shirt underneath. So really light, pretty for spring and summer even fall throw it over a pair of jeans this was four dollars and pink was the one that was not on sale so i did pay the whole four dollars for it that is worth it to me to, to try out i have one other halston thing listed it hasn't sold yet but i have high hopes for it oh this one is cute but makes me sad um this was one that my sister actually grabbed for herself um so it is i don't know the brand it's just angie 
like a boutique brand, but this is so cute novelty prints. It's got elephants on it. It looks very like Eastern Asia, boho, bohemian. We'll use all those tags. And it is a romper with pockets. So she grabbed this for herself, but it didn't fit perfectly. So she donated it to the reselling cause of we're working on a Disneyland vacation at some point. That's what all this money is going towards. So thank you for doing that, baby sister. Um, this was $5, not on discount because she liked it. Next, a couple more of these kind of bread and butter button downs. This is Duluth Trading Co., which does sell pretty well for me. It doesn't sell, you know, for super high, but the things I've had have sold fast. And this is another performance kind of button down. Hiking, fishing, because it is vented in the back, so I'm definitely listing it as fishing, golfing, hiking, anything like that, outdoors, active wear. $2 with a discount. I liked the kind of Hawaiian-ish floral green print. We have another one. This one was really cool. This is a vintage Tommy Bahama tag, and it is 100% silk size large. Really pretty Hawaiian, kind of yellow with some pink floral. I'm not exactly sure, maybe like irises? Somebody that knows about flowers. <laughs> Tell me below what these are. Mom, if you're watching, you probably know. That's a definite pickup for me. I just sold a pair of 100% silk Tommy Bahama like wide leg trousers that I found at the bins. They were so beautiful. Um, and those sold pretty well. These were $7 plus the 50% off deal. Okay, we are getting down to the bottom of this bag. I do think I'm going to split this into a part one and a part two. Next here we have soft surroundings. I'm always excited when I can find this because I don't find it very often. And this is, I think this was 100% linen also. Let me double check. Yes, 100% linen. And this is like an open front cardigan with this waterfall kind of draping here in the front. And it's again in that kind of brushed all natural fiber fabric, tan, beige, really nice. This one, I probably should have thought through because I don't know how I'm going to show this on a hanger and I don't have a nice um, mannequin yet to hang things on and I can't find a model picture. But this is a Zara Trafaluk kind of wide boxy tank. This I think is in a size small. It is in a size small. So I might be able to model this myself. Maybe I should try that out. But it has a slim racer back right down the back and then obviously you wear this over like a another shirt or just a sports bra or a bra however you want to do it um, but it looked really really pretty it's a very nice fabric I it feels nice I think it's just probably rayon or polyester or something yeah it's 100% polyester but it feels really nice and I liked the color of it for summer this is one that maybe I shouldn't have gotten, but again, they didn't have a lot of men's stuff. I saw, must have been probably other resellers, a guy with a car. He was just going down the men's aisles and like just grabbing and grabbing and grabbing. His cart was like taller than I am, so I'm sure he took all the good stuff, but he didn't want the University of Alabama polo. I don't know. This is English laundry, nothing to write home about, just kind of a men's polo. It is an extra large. Um, so that's a good size and it was only $2. We'll see if that sells. Probably should have left it. All right, we are down to our last, I think, three items here. This was one that literally I was in the process of checking out and it caught my eye on like a new rack they had just put out. So I ran over there real quick to check it out. Um, this is an Under Armour kind of swim surf skirt and it is new with tags. So I saw the new with tags kind of sticking out. That's why I ran over there. So MSRP $30, heat gear, um, fitted compression, semi-loose, loose, UA surf. And it was $1.50 after the discount tag. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna lose money on this. Don't grab Under Armour all the time, but new with tags in the summer. So it's got the skirt on top and then it has just the bikini bottom connected underneath. I have actually done pretty well this summer selling bikini separates. I've sold like maybe three bikini bottoms already and they all sold quickly as separates. Second to last thing we have here is a pair of L.L. Bean women's size 6 regular, a really nice pair of hiking pants. They have zippered pockets throughout on the back and on the side and they're like a performance stretch 
fabric. So again, in summer and fall, hiking gear is selling. And LL Bean is one of the, my more favorite kind of outdoorsy brands to sell, especially if you get kind of the right styles and not just the basics or anything vintage does really well. All right, this one is, I didn't purposely leave this for last. It's not fantastic, it's just adorable. Um, this is, it's just American Eagle, but look how cute this skirt is. This is a paper bag waist, light wash, and I think to me at least light wash is the trendiest wash as of right now. Um, kind of bringing in the vintage, the Y2K feel, like mom jeans. Light wash is doing really well. But it has this nice pretty waist tie. It's also a fly button here, which does really well. Did I say, did I say this is a skirt? This isn't a skirt. <laughs> These are shorts. So cute. That actually... I think makes them a little better because I think more people wear shorts and skirts in their denim. But the problem here is this is a size zero, so this would most likely fit me. And I really wanna try them on and keep them. So we will see if these get listed or not, or maybe I'll keep them and then list them, something like that. But they were $5 white tags, so they ended up being $2.50. All right, that is probably a long enough haul video for you guys as of right now, but don't forget, I have that other bag. In that bag, I've got some higher end designer pieces. I've got some like cocktail dresses, I have a lot of jeans, I have um, sweaters, things that are better for fall. So I hope you will stick around on my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss part two of that video. I also have quite a bit of like makeup and skincare review content coming up if you're interested in any of that. I'm also planning on filming a what sold video for July. It'll be my first what sold as I'm kind of sprinkling in more reselling content. So I hope if any of those things excite you, you will make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you don't miss any of those upcoming videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye.